I am so happy. I have an amazing life. Now I'm gonna scratch my eyes out. What, you think I'm funny? I'm an emergency. This, it's not my fault, all right? It's not, my DNA is fucked, okay? You can ask Dr. Hecker. She's my psychiatrist. I don't know, I heard her say the problem's like congenital or something. I don't know, I think she was on the phone. I'd also like to thank my parents. Oh, thank God. And my boyfriend. Especially my boyfriend. When we were together, everything was so friggin' clear that you could hear a glass tinging a fork in Mozambique. Now my head could explode and I wouldn't even notice. My name is Tracy Berkowitz, 15. Just a normal girl who hates herself. And you know what? No one can do anything about this. They can't. Because I ain't gonna talk to them about any of it. I mean, I'm not gonna go back to those freaking retards. Do you remember in the news when those two retards had a kid? That was me. I'm just kidding. I kind of like to ride a different bus every night depending on my mood. Like when I'm depressed, I like to be around other depressed people. And happy people friggin' depress me. And sometimes I just have to close my eyes. And sometimes I just have to scream. Shut your stupid diggle mouths before I stick you on the front of my bike and go night riding. I have this condition. Makes me wanna kill and fuck all the time. But lucky for us, it's in remission. You know, it really isn't my fault. I absolutely, 100% had to run away. Because my parents, they're like, they're like a couple of Helen Kellers. All they do is feel, and you know what, it really sucks out loud when people don't trust you. Like my dad, he's, he's always saying that I exaggerate, you know? He's always like, Tracy, I don't know what to believe and what not to believe. But how do you know what's real and what's not when the whole world is inside your head? And what's fake, you know? I fucking L. Okay. But how do you know what's real and what's not when the whole world is inside your head? Because what's made up is pretty much better than what's real anyway. I mean, that's pretty much a no-brainer. And you know, ever since I got on this bus, no one will sit near me. No one will even talk to me. And they all breathe through their, their friggin' gross mouths because you know, oh, I smell like a friggin' sewer crocodile or something. It really isn't my fault, okay? Because I came from a hole. Like, if you met my mom, you would never believe that's where I came from. Okay.